Hi, in this video we're going to talk about some more key terms for classes. So let's review some object-oriented vocabulary we've been using in this unit. First, an object is something that contains both state and behavior. It is an instance of a class. And a class is a template for creating an object. And an instance is what you call a specific version of the class. Instances and objects generally refer to the same thing. So there's some new vocabulary we've been using in the last few videos, so let's review that. An instance method is a method called on an instance of a class or an object that helps define the behavior of the class. An instance variable is a variable belonging to an instance of a class or an object that helps define the state of the class. A class method or static method is a method called on the class. It does not have an object as the receiver and it's accessible to all instances of the class. A class variable or static variable is a variable belonging to the class, not any object instance. It's accessible to all instances of the class. So there's some other key object-oriented vocabulary and we'll dive a bit more into that here. So first, in Java, related classes are grouped into packages. And you can import classes from a package like import package name dot star. And you import a single class like import package name dot class name. Uh, visibility. Visibility, which is usually public or private, tells you who has access, whether it's to a variable or a method. So we've been using public or private, but we haven't really gone into what that really means. So first, the public visibility modifier. The classes we write will generally be public, which means usable by everyone, though it's possible to write classes that aren't public. That's why our classes start like public class student. The visibility on this class is public. This also means that the class name needs to match the file name. Private visibility modifier. The instance variables we will write will generally be private, which means just usable by this class. Though it's possible to write instance variables that aren't private. That's why our instance variables are written like private string first name. That's only accessible within the class. So you might be wondering who has access, um, whether you're using the public or private modifier. If you're using the public modifier, the public visibility modifier, then in the class, you have access. In the package, you have access. And the whole world has access. But if you're using private, if you're using private visibility modifier, in the class, you have access, but the package doesn't and the world doesn't. By world, we mean you know, any, any program, any app application that's a client of this class. So let's go back to our rectangle constructor. Um, I've highlighted the line here, the first line of the constructor that says public rectangle int the width int the height. And you might have been wondering why I called it the width and the height before, and now I've changed it to int width int height. But something's wrong here. We have this red bubble telling us something's wrong here. Can you tell what's wrong? Take a look for a few seconds. Hmm. Well, it seems like the names of the parameters width and height are the same as the instance variables. So how do we know in that constructor method which ones they're referring to? Well, what actually happens here is that the instance variables actually don't get assigned a value. They're getting hidden. Uh, so width equals width, height equals height. Those lines don't do anything. Those lines don't actually do anything. But instead, there's a way to get around this. When we have instance variables with the same name as parameters, we can use the keyword this, which lets us know that we're accessing an attribute a field or an instance variable on the current instance. So if we say this dot width equals width and this dot height equals height, we've now distinguished between the instance variable called width and the incoming parameter called width. So this dot width equals width means that we're going to set the width for the current instance to be the width of the current parameter, the blue one. So it's it's very confusing using this. That's why we sort of waited a little bit to introduce this, but it's something you can use. So what is the this keyword? 
This is a reference to the current object. This is a reference to the current object. And this can be confusing. This is a little warning. It's, it's tricky to use this, but you'll get some practice with it um, after, after this video. So let's say we want to talk about using this in a method. Um, you know, let's say we have a getter method called get with. You could say return with. That's going to get the instance variable. You could also say return this dot with. Those will do the same thing. Um, so why use this? The, the answer is that sometimes the this keyword makes it very clear that you're referring to the current instance or to resolve naming conflicts like we had in our constructor example from earlier. So let's go try this out in the editor. Okay, so I have our rectangle class from earlier. And the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the program. We make a couple rectangles uh, called the get area method. But I want to try changing it from instead of rect width to width, width and height. Um, so in this example, we're just going to run it to see what it does. Okay, and what it does is it says that the rectangle has a width and height in zero and an area of zero, even though that's not what we intended. And the reason for that is that the instance variables are never getting initialized. This width equals width is just saying, is just setting these, basically the parameters equal to themselves. So it's not really doing anything. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our keyword this, say this.width and this.height. This.width, remember this refers to the current object. So it's setting the instance variable called with on the current object. So let's run this. And you can see that it's working as we expected. And now with these new names for our constructor parameters. Um, and as another example, we can show you that in our get area, we can use this.width and this.height, and they'll do the same thing. So there you go, that's an example of using the this keyword.